Good evening, my dear friends. Those who know me know that I love the newest technology, science, and so I want to bring to your attention something that I've been using for the last year <clears throat> and something that I think would uh, revolutionize the future of uh, healthcare, medicine, cures, and that is exosomes. So exosomes are extracellular uh, vesicles. They range in size from 40 microns to around 160 microns. You can say on average 100, easy number to remember. Put things in perspective, if you look at viruses, the smallest virus is like the parvovirus, about 18 microns. Or if we look at the COVID, scary, we don't exactly compare them, but it's about 100 microns, anywhere from 50 to 140 uh, microns, um, sorry, nanometers. So when we're looking at the size of the of the exosomes, which we said is anywhere from 40 to 160 uh, nanometers, this is about the size of the of that um, the exosome, similar to the kind of the size of the of the COVID virus. Now, why is the size important? Size is important because this is the vesicle that is containing inside it the special information. It has DNA, it has lipids, um, it has um, also some metabolites, some excess material that the body uses in order to remove things from itself and also in order to send messages to far away places wherever it wants the message to be sent. And so you can uh, think to yourself as a, a letter that you're sending to someone and it's a dispatch, a really important dispatch from the general to his uh, subordinates or from the president to his um, uh, head of staff. And if you get that message in between, if you're, for example, an enemy state, that will give you the ability to plan what to do and to avert or, or uh, win the war, as we remember happened with uh, General Lee when his uh, message was intercepted and they were able to know the next spot he will attack and that's what probably made him lose the war. So this uh, um, is something that's really taking by storm and uh, in, in science a lot of articles have been written on it. The idea is that we can package inside the exosomes treatments, for example, chemotherapy medication, and we can put it in the body and it will reach the necessary location. And it will be able to enter the cell because just like the COVID virus that's able to enter the cell and the body thinks that it's its own, the exosomes are the extracellular vesicles that are created by the body to send the messages. So it looks like the same letter and boom, you open it and inside is, uh, you know, you have the anthrax, God forbid. So the same thing here, you can kill the, 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 the tumor with it um, or you can actually do positive stuff. So if you have a genetic disorder that you're trying to treat or if you're trying to treat um, a broken uh, bone, <clears throat> you'll be able to do that. Of course, the question is what do you need to package inside that message in order to get the most effect out of it? And uh, one of the things that I'm using it for, and I've used it for in the past, is to help the bone heal faster, uh, wounds regenerate uh, faster, and the hair um, regrow. And also, I've tried on myself, you've seen that with gray hair. The thing that we're not yet sure is how much of the concentration you need to get a different effect out of it and how long it will take. So you'll get the effect, but maybe it'll take longer if you give them less growth factors. Kind of like you can think about it as a Botox. You give certain amount of units to get certain effect. And this is where research is really ongoing and we're trying to figure that out. Now, where would we get that, those exosomes? So it, every cell creates those exosomes and we obviously want to get it from healthy cells. So nowadays the common places that people manufacture exosomes from is fats, uh, which is uh, pluripotent, uh, you can make from them stem cells. And if you look carefully, every cell uh, can be generated to create stem cells and to create uh, its own cells. The most effective probably would be if you get it from an embryo or if you get it from the placenta. And that's one of the things that are being done right now. They get it from the not blood, but from the cord itself, from surrounding that cord from the jelly, which is 
containing the most active ingredients because that's what you want for the child to get because imagine the baby is starting from embryo and has to develop all the necessary parts so you have to have all those messages all the necessary signals for everything to develop properly and so if you're not sure you can basically blast them with those um, wide range of messages that will help the cell grow in a healthy manner and that's basically what we're doing so right now i'm going to uh blast myself uh the concentration is where i'm trying to figure out so i can get the fastest result because honestly i don't have patience for this stuff and we're going to inject myself uh, a little more even though i personally think that i have less gray hair uh, my staff is questioning it and uh, obviously there are a lot of factors that grow go into why one would develop gray hair and stress definitely plays a role there as well and of course i don't have stress because life is uh malina as they say you know life is life is great it doesn't matter how well how much you enjoy and how well you exercise we all have stress we can manage it but we still have it so we're gonna inject me a little bit here and uh, Definitely less gray hair. I think it's less gray hair. Yeah, it's less gray hair. I have mostly on the sideburns. Well, at least that's the area that I see. Now we do the other side. And that's where you have to be ambidextrous. That's it. So, let's see how it works. I got a little bit uh, explanation about exome. So, remember what it has. It has lipids, it has DNA in it. It has um, um, different nucleic acids, which are the building blocks of DNA, RNA. Um, and those are the messages that we send. So, message I sent right now is help the hair regain back its color. And if we can do that, we can help uh, other things like uh, people with vitiligo. And uh, the sky is really the limit. So I'll keep you posted on the experiments I do on myself. Have a wonderful weekend, stay healthy and safe. Hopefully it was educational, bye.